Okay, so I'm Chloe. I am the summer marketing intern for the summer. And I'm Alyssa Mersky. I'm the digital and content marketing specialist. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so basically just the outline, throw down what's going to be happening in this presentation. First, we're just going to show some benefits of social media and why you should be using it to begin with. Next, we're just going to discuss specifically through our social media outlets that we use through Learning Tree. We'll talk about Facebook, Twitter, and then LinkedIn. Then we're going to have a small activity for you guys, so really get excited and pitch in when it's time to come. Just about headlines, good and bad, and why, and stuff like that. And then we'll just finish off with questions and comments that you guys have. I'd like all the questions that you have to be talked about at the end, because we will have a section for that. And for everyone to mute, mute <laughs> their devices and everyone who's on audio right now, just so that we don't have an echo or anything going on during the presentation. So let's get started. First is showing the basics, just two important points. One, just exposing company for free. Social media is a perfect way just to use free tools of getting your like, information out there, Learning Tree specifically, because not many people are following Learning Tree. So just getting the information you learn from Learning Tree and putting that out there is a free, easy tool that can get more access to more people. The second point being you're expanding sales and reaching new audiences, especially for salespeople that you get more chances to get new clients, because people, again, who aren't following Learning Tree will have an access to that because they aren't following it themselves. So it gives more people a chance to be able to learn about our information that we're posting out there onto our blogs and stuff like that. <sighs> Next, we have some statistics. One being that only 14% of people trust ads versus the 76% of people who trust consumer recommendations. So basically that just means the people trusted ads are just what our paid campaigns are in certain companies and just posting that for people who look through their social media, they see those ads pop up. That's only 14% compared to the consumer recommendations from your personal friends and followers who are recommending you to get these certain products, 76% is a big difference compared to 14. So from those trusted consumer recommendations, 81% of those people, of those respondents, get it from friends and followers from their own social media pages. So that's a majority of the people that they're getting their products from and their decision making is based off of the people that they personally and privately follow themselves, not from what companies post from their paid campaigns and stuff like that. So out of that advice that people have received, 74 found it to be influential in their decision. So it's really important that we take advantage of the people that we follow personally on our own pages to promote Learning Tree on our own pages so that we can get to more people than we would if we weren't to do that. Now we're gonna move on to Twitter and the sweet world of hashtags. Does everyone know what a hashtag is? Yes, yes, good work, guys. Okay, so. Yes, go to the pound key. All right, so hashtags are very important. The point of hashtags, you take the SEO or the keyword and use that hashtag to be promoted onto Twitter because everyone who searches for that keyword will find it on their page. So it's very important to use hashtags. So I showed you a little digital. That's what a favorite button looks like if you guys aren't familiar with it. And it basically just causes more potential viewers to see how popular the post is so more people want to be engaged with the content. Next we just have components of uh, Twitter itself, just like the sweet art of retweeting, just showing the more you retweet, the more potential people will be able to see it. But the importance of retweeting, not only just using the retweet button, but to add your own headline of what you found useful in the article or things that you took away from it just so that people can be able to see it and know why you're trying to post that on your own pages to your own networks. The points of that is also mentioning who it's at if you can so that you have a person that you're going to for it. And I will show in the example coming up next. So in Learning Tree's blog, we talked about Wireshark and we included that as the hashtag, as you can see, or the pound key, as we like to mention. So using that in the headline, finding something you took away from that blog only benefits people more who want to scroll through, see that on their page versus something that isn't there. I also highlighted what the retweet button would look like. And I also want to point out, you can comment on posts itself, but when you do that, like on Learning Tree itself, say you were to comment on this blog and say what you took away from it or something like that. The thing is, only the blog itself will you be able to see all those comments versus if you were to retweet, take that comment that you were to comment on there and put it in your own headline so that people can see what you took away from it on their own networks than just to comment on this post because then other people won't be able to see it. So that's just an important point to make. 
Next, we have Twitter analytics. Again, the importance of the hashtag, I cannot stress enough on here. So we have two different blog posts randomly taken from Learning Tree. The top one being about SharePoint and the bottom one being about SQL. And you can see that the difference is almost doubled in the amount of people that were looking at SharePoint compared to SQL. And it's really important to notice that because if you weren't talking about something that's as popular at the time, not many people are gonna reach out to it and see that on their timeline. So it's really important to take something that people are talking about constantly so that it's given on a lot more people's profiles than it would be otherwise. So SharePoint is a definitely a big one. What I like using as tools, one being Hashtagify. If you guys haven't heard of it before, it's a really easy tool. You just um, type in Hashtagify.com. You just search in, say you were to look for SharePoint. Let's see how popular it's, it is right now. All you do is type it in the search engine and it'll come up with related words to SharePoint and how popular it is on what social media outlets. So it's a really big tool. Also, if you go on Twitter itself and you type in the, the hashtag that you're hoping to use in your tweet, you can type it into the search engine and it'll show you every single hashtag that's used with that word in their tweets. So it's really important to see how relevant the hashtag is, how often it's being used, just so you can see how popular it is and if it's worth using in your tweet itself. So. Next we have LinkedIn. Alyssa was the one that presented LinkedIn this morning, but she can't be here, unfortunately. So I'm going to be talking about the headlines and the liking of LinkedIn, and then Alyssa will go more into um, the analytics and the impressions made. So to begin, liking, just liking a post just shows the popularity, which intrigues more people to want to know more about it, because if it's not as popular, you just don't really see as much engagement, then you're like, why am I going to engage with it then? So this just shows two different examples, one being about our CEO, Richard Spires, you have 16 likes, there's a lot of engagement, you're like, okay, and then what is it about? I should be engaged with it, see what's going on. Versus one of the blogs from Learning Tree, there's not much engagement, so it just doesn't look as appealing to want to have to click more about because there's just not as popularity in the post. So it just varies on the more engagement you make. Oh, you're good. I was just summing it up. Next, we have an example of LinkedIn and a post that includes everything that you need for it. So this just mentions who's in what's of what's included in this LinkedIn post. So the importance of being what the SEO or keyword would be Wi-Fi analyzer. And again, that is put in the headline, which is very important because LinkedIn is more of like a professional outlook of it. It's not about hashtags, because obviously if it was Wi-Fi analyzer on Twitter, you'd say hashtag Wi-Fi analyzer. So it's really important that you know what to use and which tools in different social media outlets. So with LinkedIn, it's more about taking the benefit you took from the blog itself and throwing that into the post that you make in your headlines. So then people are like, okay, well, what will I take out of it as I'm scrolling through? So is it worth me trying to learn what these points are that the person described? So it just, I, I, I forgot to mention that. It just promotes Learning Tree even more if you're able to mention something that you took from that so that Learning Tree's name can just be thrown out a lot more than it normally would if people aren't following it and posting about it. So now we're good. And so this is just another comparison to showing having a headline without having a headline. There's a lot more chances of people wanting to be engaged with it because if you're not seeing anything, all you're seeing is a picture and a title without much engagement of like, what am I gonna take from this? What's an emotion that's attached to this blog itself? And it just has a lot more chance of being like used and clicked on and engaged with and a lot more impressions will be made if you were to add just a little headline at the beginning. So I think that's really important. Different types of tweets. Um, the first one I'm just saying, we have a new course launching later this month on project management. Exclamation point. What do you guys think? Valid like, and valid? I would not retweet that one. Yeah. Why? Why not? We always do. It's not, it's not specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would make it specific? <laughs> a specific course. Okay, so if I added the specific course, made it a hashtag, did at learning tree, something like that. Maybe the help? instructor, what Richard Spires was doing. All right. All right, how are you going to get that 160 characters out? <laughs> 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 All right, so then how about the bottom one? Do you think this is an improvement? Interested in some hands-on hashtag project management training. Learning tree has a new course launching this month, going to the bit.ly link of where the course is found. Call to action. Good? Good. Call to action, 133 characters. So some. Yeah, we're going to Yes.